Hello everyone, and welcome finally to my Planet Coaster series, playing my new park, my brand new park. It's been so long since I ever did one of these. I think my last Planet Coaster video was back in 2016, so how long ago is that? I mean, that's crazy talk right now, that it's that long ago. But yes, welcome everyone to Frill Venture, a park filled with frill, and most guests want the thrilling rides as possible as ever. Join me on a journey of great, great adventure, where we build the most thrilling and entertaining rides, with a few family rides in there, and of course, flat rides, but... We're not just going to be doing just a park, right? We're going to be making it a little bit more interesting by also incorporating a little bit of a challenge. I have got money on, so I do have to worry about finance and staff and other things like that, which will get in the way quite a bit during this experience, which is going to be really fun. So if you don't know what's going on, you can already see what's going on. I'm building an entrance, aren't I, out of wood? Well, we're in a forest. Why would we not build out of wood? We are in a forest. It was always going to happen that we were going to build mostly out of wood, considering we're using trees, baking wood, and this is going to be a realistic theme park. So, of course, that would be the, the ideal thing. But yeah, guys, we're going to be doing this moving forward, and it's going to be released every single Wednesday. It's going to be a weekly series. It replaces what City Skylines used to be, which I feel like I will be ringing Skylines back at some point when they get their shit in order, because right now, playing Skylines is just not fun. You can't do what I'm doing right here, detailing buildings up, building cool buildings, you know, detailing the grass and all that. I know I'm just placing planks at the moment, but you know what I mean. It's it's a great it's a great game Planet Coaster and I I've been putting off doing this for a while because it normally lags and well for once I actually have a decent computer to actually do this series I don't know when we're literally gonna play it until the part lags I feel like that's how Planet Coaster goes as soon as the part as soon as the part lags it's like well that's it that's all we're doing because we can't put any more in because if we try and put any more in we will just um, lag out the game and then it won't be fun or playable. So all I'm doing right now, guys, is building a wooden entrance. It's um, it, I'm just laying out the foundation right now. It's looking pretty nice, uh, as you can see, pretty much. You can clearly see on screen this is what's happening right now. But yeah, guys, you um, you voted for this. You asked for a Planet Coaster series. I I put the poll down, and people wanted it. It was a landslide, actually. No one said no. So I'm hoping this does well. I really am because I really love theme parks. I really love going to theme parks. I really love riding road coasters. And it is nice that you can bring it to life in Planet Coaster. And, you know, Planet Coaster is not the best game. Like I said, there's a lot of lag in it. You, you, they really do need to make it too and sort out, really need to optimize it because building big parks in this game is just too much hassle. It's not fun. Just, you, I mean, I've got a very good computer now. It's nearly super computer, almost at that level. And it's like, it's pulling teeth. I mean, with my old computer, I had no chance, but at least I can get a medium semi-sized park now to actually, you know, do this. Do this series, because that's what I was waiting for, waiting for, to actually be able to do this series. So if you're looking at what I'm doing right now, guys, I mean, I'm, I don't really need to explain it. You can see it, but basically I'm building an entrance and I'm now bringing a little bit of detail to life, like actually getting a nice little bit of wood pillars down. And we're still placing the foundation always, of course, but there are... There are some nice little features of mine. I'm trying to think about detail here, but I've got to be careful on money as well. I mean, what sort of lights will I be using? I'm going for lanterns because they're nice and simple. And they do look pretty nice. I do keep it quite basic, by the way, guys. I'm probably going to go back to this entrance at some point and, uh, you know, really do it up. But I do like the way it turned out um, for the first time. Getting into the more detail side now of this build. By the way, with the detail in this game, it can be very frustrating sometimes, especially if you don't make sure that your lines are straight, because if it's off by just even a centimeter, it will start to move slightly forward, outwards, and it can be really annoying to fix. And I'm having this problem putting these planks up right now. It's like, it's like really trying to make sure that nothing is even out by a centimeter because it will cause a lot of problems and we're gonna have a little bit of detail now a bit of bushes you know i'm thinking you know you make it a bit nice i went for rocks in the end rocks big rocks they do look quite nice on the entrance like i said i'm keeping it quite simple for now 
Oh no, I changed my mind. I didn't go for rocks actually in the end. I went for pillars to you know, give a more thick feel to it actually. You gotta remember that. This was like a week ago now since I built this. So there will be things I forgot about while what you know while there's voiceovering this video. It's gonna be very voiceovery this video, I would say, guys, because like I could show real time of me building this, but building Planet Coaster in real time, it takes a long time and a time lapse just seems to make more sense for the viewer's perspective. Because what you really want to get on with is the cool stuff, the rides, you know, the, the money side of things, which we will show in a different way. We won't time lapse us dealing with guests because that's funny. But while I'm just building the foundations, building the walls up, good to do a nice little time lapse. And now you can see I'm starting to build the roof. And what I will say is, the roof in building roofs in planet coaster can be quite frustrating as well it's quite a frustrating game when it comes to building roofs but once you get the hang of the tools guys you will find that it's a lot easier and can be quite funny you can be very creative in this game i always try and be as creative as i can but i know i'm on a budget and you'll be surprised how much scenery costs in this game it can be quite dear at times yeah i would say that it can be quite dear so yeah, I'm going for a mixture of flat and slanted roof to really give it a nice roof. I didn't want to just do a roof straight slanted up. That would be a bit a bit too high for an entrance. So I went with a bit of flatness first, then added a little steep bit, then flat, and then steep bit again. That's kind of how I went with it. So yeah, guys, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Do, do you want to see this series return like well? every week or would you want it to be more the thing is right with planet coaster right it's, it's a long it's a time consuming game i played on sunday for five hours i'd say it's coming on a little bit now this we're getting near to the top of the roof i tell you what placing in roofs at the top and trying to get the right trajectory to make sure it would actually attach we have to get a little bit creative at the top here actually and you know those wood pillars that we used before on the ground floor you know for the the bit, of the, the bit of the entrance, just above the lights. We went for that again and tried to place it in to try and fix the roof. But I found that didn't work. So I had to go for these smaller panels. And so I'll just go across like this, as you can see. But trying to get it correct and the precise location was a bit difficult. Because I wanted to make sure that the roof was sort of below the thing a little bit. So it created this little effect. Otherwise, it would look a bit silly. And, you know, trying to rectify that was a little bit hard. I'm not the greatest builder at the world when it comes to Planet Coaster. I never really have. But I try my best. I try to make it as uh, best that I can. Like I said, pretty basic at the moment, the entrance. It is wood. It does look kind of nice. Very simple pillars. But nothing too major, I'd say. We're just really sorting out the, uh, the roof now. These little uh, bits that are just completely dangling off and look really bad tidying it up a little bit and there we go guys look at that that's my entrance it doesn't look the greatest and there are still bits to patch up at the back but the front is looking nice i i do like how this turned out i think it was nice to add the flat roofs in you know flat roof then a then a bit of a a bit of a slant and then another flat roof and then a bit of a slant and then a big slant towards the end kind of looks like kind of looks like a bit of a mansion at the front really uh, if you if you if you did it like that, but you need to add some windows and stuff, which we will do in the future. But I wanted to just get this part entrance up and running so that we can start inviting guests in. I will fix the back real quick, and then we will get on with doing the actual front bit now, and maybe getting some guests in the park. Eh? So here is what the front is looking like now with the finishing touch just done, the pathway put in. I've got a nice little five tunnel route in. We've got the opening times there, as you can see. But I did think we needed to add just a little bit more before we opened this park. Because it looks a bit basic at the front. We do have the opening times and all that, which is 10 o'clock till, till half six. You know, just general theme park opening times, to be honest, and closing during the summer. Which it looks like it is summer at the moment. Join Park Coaster for a thought we'll go for those opening times. Yeah, doing paths in this game. As you can see right now, I'm just trying to place all these paths in to try and make it as much as possible. We will need to fill all these gaps in because they do look ugly as hell. So I think the best way we're going to do this is a bit of minor details. Maybe some fountains, some rocks, some trees. So we'll get those all placed in. And for a bit of added realism, we will stick a ticket office out here. Now, this isn't going to serve much purpose, Planet Coaster. 
you, the tickets were very different in Planet Coaster. But I did think, you know what, we'll add some some form of ticket thing in, which will look really cool. But this looks a bit weird. I think we're going to change this up and actually add queues and stuff and make it a little bit more nicer. So that's exactly what we did. Decided to go for a pathway system. You know, make these ticket box tickets mean something. They don't serve much purpose, but I had to add this. It was in my realistic theme park idea. Mm, you know what, maybe a little ticket office would, uh, would suffice, you know. So we added some queues in, and I thought the best way would use a bit of wooden fence, you know. Place the wooden fence down on all these little queue lines. No one's ever going to queue in these, by the way. It, in real life, they would, obviously. But it, it was just trying to get a nice look, you know. I really want this part to look realistic as possible. We will try and add some elements in of realism. Like, I, I will look at fee, uh, fee Maker's Toolkit, maybe add some computers, some offices, and stuff like that in the future. But I just wanted to get the park open. So I thought I'd just rush this, get this done real nice and fast. And it does look pretty cool. And that's little veins as well. A little added some. We noticed I added some fountains on the entrance as well. You know what? We haven't even added our sign yet. We need a sign. You need a sign. I was pondering what sort of sign to have. Was I going to go for, you know, text or anything? But in the end, I decided to go for this. Welcome. Just get this big sign. Thrill Venture. It does look a little bit bland, but I really wanted to get the park open and really start, you know, seeing what the guests think. So yeah, in all, all in all, it was alright. So it's now time to start working on the entrance to the park. You know, the inside as you first enter. We're going for, you know, a glamorous look here, aren't we? We need to make it as glamorous as possible. So I went for sort of like a full circle round, really, first of all. And then added a couple of pathways where the entrance marks are. I will probably make this a giant plaza at some point, but I'm just going to, you know, make it like this for now. We also need a toilet block. Obviously, you know, the guests <laughs> need to go. You know, they, it, I'm not being fully right. If there wasn't a toilet as you entered, I'd be very, very surprised in a park, you know, like. So it's good that we're adding this in. It's going to be very nice to put in a little toilet. It's kind of like a little towers in a way, you know, a toilet on the left side as you walk through the plaza. So I was pondering what sort of toilet to go for. Um, in the end, I decided to make my own. Because sometimes it's so easy to just, you know, not make your own and just steal other people's ideas. But this time I went for my own little look. A nice modern toilet block. It looks quite nice, you know. I, I, I do want to try and make things myself in this series if I can. There are going to be some, obviously, where I will make, will use other people's stuff. But most of all, I will go for my own stuff. So before we open the door, it was time to build our first ride. Now, we can't afford a coaster at the start. We only have 37,000 left, by the way. We've used a lot on shops and stuff. I've skipped the shops because later on in the series, I do delete them. So I didn't show this because I didn't see the point because it's not going to be existing for too long. What I do show, though, is the ride, making the queue path and everything, and then setting up the scenery. Obviously, very simple for now, just rocks and trees. I basically just wanted to get the park open. When you don't have a lot of money, you can't really go into detail. The detailing comes later on in the series when you get money. Because I, I, I'm the sort of person that has to play in survival mode. If I'm playing Minecraft, I have to play in survival mode. So I also have to play in money mode when I play a game. It's like City Skylines. I've got to be earning money or something. There's got to be some sort of challenge. I am the creative, but I need a challenge with it. If it's just creative mode... I will get bored. And this is why I like to have this sort of like money sort of into the game because it really does make a difference. So we're finishing up the finishing touches now, a bit of lamps, a bit of, uh, you know, some light to the park, some bins, adding some staff in, you know, just before we open the park. I'm really excited to get this park open and running. I want to see how our money gets made, if we go into financial debt. It's, it's very interesting. And uh, that's why the shops go, by the way, because the... Um, I, I, I make some weird little hole thing and it doesn't turn out well. Gets replaced with a flat ride later on. Spoilers ahead in the series, but yeah. So for the first name of this ride, I went for Above the Woods because basically we are above the woods. When you go on a drop tower, you are above the woods. It made sense because, you know, I'm in a massive forest and it, it does go above the woods. Okay, so it's time to start getting our guests into the park. We are open for business. We have got our first coaster above the woods ready hopefully it'll be enough to start getting them in the park you know the thing about this now is working out what ticket prices to go for but before we do that we need to decide for above the woods do 950 gonna cut it i don't know we'll have to see this is the thing with playing with money it makes you think a little bit more 
But here we are, our first guest arriving. Right now, we are actually losing money because no one has got in the park yet. It was really understandable that cost of running things without getting any income probably would end up with this sort of thing. But I think I've done a nice plaza and probably will make this hole at some point. Maybe sort out the terrain and stuff. But for now, for the, the four walkway, the five walkways will do just fine, I guess. This little section here will get deleted, by the way. Uh, I didn't, it really didn't go well, as you'll find out. Right, so we appear to have a problem. I can't believe they're charging that much for a standard ticket. Yeah, this 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 is a problem, indeed. I think uh, I may have put the prices up a little bit too much, maybe. It seems that most people don't want to pay that much. Fine. Let's see how it is. There's no coaster yet. It's just, it's not surprising, you know. The only thing in here is above the woods. They're literally essentially walking into a empty theme park without any rides. So let's put it down to two. Maybe they'll come in at two. No, really? They're not going to come in at two? Am I doing something wrong? What is going on? Right, well, I'm going to pause a second because I've got to sort this issue out right now. Don't want to be losing any money. Hmm. Heart management. Family too high then? I guess we'll just go with naught then. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll just see what happens if we put it down the naught. Will people go in at naught because it's three? I earn no money doing this, but hey, let's see. Oh yeah, they're coming at naught. Right, so what what could be the problem? Have I not opened something? The shops? Do we need a ride, maybe? Is more not enough? I'm just trying to think for a second what we could possibly need. Sky Temple. I don't think that's going to cut it. What, what else is there? Ah, the more gentle ride. What's this? Bumpers Derby. We could try this. A Bumpers Derby. We'll stick this down. Maybe this will do something for the guests. All right. It's time for a second time lapse. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to build Bumper's Derby up now. We'll get a nice queue going for this one. Again, maybe make it dead short. Oh, right. Ah, I forgot to open the park ride. That will explain it. There was nothing open. You know, there is there's some things that you've uh, got to do when opening a theme park, Will, and that's making sure that you open rides because you know what? People won't pay to get in. We currently have over 344 guests, but they are coming in for free, which ain't ideal. Yeah, as you can see, these shops really did nothing. I, I really learned my lesson here in these early days, and I've opened up Bumpers Derby. There's no scenery yet, annoyingly. I've not put anything in. I've just added Bumper. What the hell? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We can't. <laughs> that looks really strange. We're gonna have to move that, aren't we? There's no way we can keep that there. There's no, there's no way you're close. Come on, let's, let's move this. Bloody hell! Yeah. So I've just flattened out the terrain so we could place Bumpers Derby back down because it was in a really stupid spot. It was like the mountain was going into it. So now we're going to actually add the entrance and stuff and get this online. We'll be very quick about this. You know, we really need to start getting gas and start earning money. As you can see, 32. Thousand is not going to be enough to build a coaster or anything like that. We need to start earning money somehow. And um, rides is going to do that, I guess, early on. Also, shops and stuff. But you no, know, we got to get this up and rolling as soon as, as soon as possible. I'm also opening my third flat ride now, a test flight. I feel like we need, you know, a few different flat rides in to really just start earning that first bit of money. I can't really afford a coaster right now until we start earning money because if I place a coaster down, I'm going to go full bankrupt straight away. It's it's not going to be fun. It really isn't. So we're just working on another ride, test flight, getting this queue line up and running. What is going on right now, by the way? Have you seen these crowds while I, while I build this ride? It's unreal. Um, I want to make queue lines a, a little bit longer so that, you know, if they do fill up quickly, then there's going to be a lot of space and they're going to take my money. Hopefully they don't break down or anything. We don't want anything like that. I was getting a little bit lazy with it, to be honest. Just building rides, trying to, you know, generate money, which we are now... Sort of doing? Plus 1,000. It's better than it was. I guess it's too expensive. What are they saying? I don't feel like spending money at Hats Fantastic. Prices for Above the Woods are way too high, apparently. 
Right, well, that's uh, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah. We are going on test flight, though, which is good. Eh, pretty decent, I guess. Prices are a bit high. Yeah, I'm starting to actually build a path across. Maybe just because I'm just trying to sort this blob out right now. This blob is not fun at all to deal with. Yeah, they really do not like what's going on here. Too expensive. Oh, wait, it's a full queue. I don't think raising the price is going to help then. Yeah, we need to sort this blob problem out. There's 2,000 guests in the park. I don't know how there is. Oh, it's still free, the entrance, isn't it? Dodgeum just filled up, to be fair. Well, that's good. $30. <laughs> Get that queue down. But you know what, guys? I think I'm going to conclude this episode. I think this was a good one. We got a good entrance started. Um, too many guests in the park. I'm going to figure this out because it's, uh, it's a bit of a nightmare right now. And I guess next episode we'll build our first coaster. I don't know what I've decided. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Probably get rid of this terrible shop. Not gonna lie, this has not been working out at all. No one's buying anything. They're just obsessed with the rides. It's a bit of a mess right now, but it's episode one. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, we know it's your like rain. Make sure to subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy this series. A very every Wednesday series. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.